Hello and welcome. Oops. Just got home from another 12 hour day, third one this week, and boy, I might be. <clears throat> but figured I better uh, do an update on how the pilot is coming along. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I hate doing cabinets. No, that's not true. I detest doing cabinets because I totally, thoroughly suck at it. It never comes out the way I want it to look. <clears throat> Excuse me. In fact, several of the radios that I've restored, I've told the people, I will do the electric electrical restoration. I'll get it back 100% for you, but you're going to have to take care of your own cabinet work because I just suck at it. But Sunday, I was down at the homeless despot, and I swung by the paint section looking for something, anything, that would make this job a little easier. I was planning on stripping this cabinet down and starting over. And in the process, I bumped into this. This is Howard Restore It, Don't Strip It, Restore a Finish. And I said, wow, that sounds like what I want to do. I just want to restore it. I don't want to strip it. And I turned it over on the back, and it says directions, use, you know, color close to blah, blah, blah. It says, apply with super fine 4 aught steel wool. Well, <laughs> there's a man after my own heart. You guys that watch here know 4 aught steel wool is my favorite tool. Next to the Harley hammer, but, I mean, you know, 4 aught steel wool ranks way, way up there. And then over here on the side, it says something very interesting. Are we in focus here? There we go. Can you see what the third from the bottom item is? It says, restore antiques, furniture, desks, dressers, tables, chairs, clocks, pianos, radios. It says right on the can, it's for radios. I said, that, that's got to be the stuff I want. It's for radios, and you put it on with 4 aught steel wool. How could I go wrong? So I brought this home, and I poured a little on some 4 watt steel wool, and I just started rubbing it into the finish. And the more I rubbed, the better it looked, until what you see before you <laughs> is the result. And I mean, that's all I have done to this, is rub it down. Let me move the camera back here just a little bit. All I've done is rub this down with 4 watt steel wool and Howard Restorer Finish. And I was just blown away at how this came out. I mean, for something I've restored, this is gorgeous. Just absolutely spectacular. And I just got all kinds of carried away. I rubbed a little into the bottom. Of course, it isn't going to have the sheen down here because this isn't even finished sanded. But it cleaned it up. It made it look a little bit better. And I've even put some inside. Just figured I'd add a little color, co color up some of the, uh, cover up some of the dust. We uh, freshened up the flat black on the two inserts in here. This is stapled in as it was originally. And I put some new stainless steel screws to hold the speaker board in. I don't know if you remember, but that was just floating when I got it. The speaker and that board were just floating around inside the radio. The original rubber on the dial was in good shape. The one on this side was missing, so I made one out of a piece of uh, neoprene hose, not neoprene, excuse me, uh, polyethylene hose, just to take up the gap and let this gently press against the glass and hold it in place. So, all that remains now is to finish up the restoration on the chassis, and uh, we'll do that in another video. When that's done, We'll do the last and final video where we do the tune-up and slide the chassis inside the cabinet. That's it, short and sweet. If you absolutely detest refinishing these things like I do, there's a product that works. Now, I'm sure there's others out there that are similar in nature. All I know is this worked for me. And I, <laughs> this is going to be my go-to product from now on. So, that's it. For this session, I'm the radio mechanic. I'm going to go get some dinner. Probably take a shower and go to bed. See you later.